What's up guys and welcome back to Poker Night. I've got another fun dealer choice game for you. You're going to be forced to trade a card. You're going to be forced to fold a card. It's a lot of fun. I don't see anything like it on the internet anywhere. I don't see anything in any of the poker forums. This is kind of the game that uh, myself and a couple of poker friends have played a couple times here and there. And kind of fine-tuned it. We gave it the name The Last Dance. So keep watching. I'll show you how to play it and deal it. Here's how you play and deal the dealer choice poker game, The Last Dance. Start with a shuffled deck, determine your ante. I'm going to say each one of these chips is worth a quarter, and I'm going to say the ante is a quarter. Once your ante is good, all players are going to get four face down cards, which they can look at. Once all players have their four face down cards, put five face down cards across the center of the table. Now players can go ahead and look at their cards and betting action is going to go clockwise. So it's gonna go left of the dealer. Since no one is gonna show any face cards up in this game, the betting action always goes left of dealer clockwise around the table. This player here, he's going to bet a quarter, and everybody's going to call. So you have a betting round before you show any of these cards here in the center of the table. Once that betting round is good, the dealer can go ahead and flip over one card, and I work my way left to right. So once again, betting action always starts over here. He's going to bet a quarter, and everybody's going to call. Once the pot's good, dealer can turn over the second card. Once again, betting action falls to this player. He is going to bet a quarter. Everybody's going to call. Once the pot's good, dealer can go ahead and turn the third card. Betting action again over here. He's going to bet a quarter, and the table's going to call. Now before you turn this fourth card, all players have to take one of their cards and pass it clockwise. So this player is going to pass one of his cards to this player, this player is going to pass one of his cards to this player, so on and so forth. So everybody's going to be taking a look at their cards, figuring out what card they want to pass. And we'll say he's going to pass this one. Just make sure no players are looking at their past cards before they actually pass one away. And he'll pass this. And the dealer is going to pass this deuce. So now everyone should still have four cards. And everyone around the table should have passed one going clockwise. Just pass one card to your neighbor all the way around the table. And you do that before you turn up this fourth card. So you go ahead and turn up the fourth card. And now you have another betting round. Once again, over to this player here. He'll bet a quarter, and everybody's going to call. Now before you turn this fifth card... Everyone has to throw away one card. So everybody's going to take a look at their hand, determine what they want to do. And this player will throw away that deuce. And this player here, he'll throw away that three. Let's take a look at the dealer. And he'll throw away this three. So now everyone should have three cards face down. There should be four cards turned up on the table. And now when you turn over this last card, everybody's going to use two of their down cards, and they must use three of the cards on the table. So you can go ahead and turn that card. Now you have another betting round again. This player here. They'll bet a quarter, 
and everybody will just call. So now everyone can flip over their cards, determine who the winner is. Just remember they're going to use two of the cards in their hand and three out here on the table. So this player here, he's got six, seven, ace. Let's see, nine, ten, jack, ace, king, six, seven. Looks like he doesn't have much of anything. This player here, he's got six, seven, jack. So he's got a pair of jacks. Let's see, no straight, six, seven, needs an eight. Uh, two spades, no flush there. The dealer, he has two fives and a nine. Now just remember, you can only use two of these cards. If you're kind of looking at this, it looks like dealer's got a full boat. You know, two nines, you got three nines here and two fives here. That's not the case. I can only use two of these cards. So if I use a nine and a five, then I actually have three nines. So if I just used my pair of fives, I would have a pair of fives, pair of nines. So the dealer is going to use the five and the nine and the dealer is going to call three nines and the dealer is going to win the pot. And that ends the game. So the game is called The Last Dance. Like I said, you're forced to trade a card. You're forced to throw away a card. Uh, it's a pretty fun game to play. There's you know player to player interaction. Uh, somebody you always usually throws away, you know, a, a good card that would have gave them a three of a kind or something at the end. You know, there's usually some hooting and hollering and some grumbling at the end of this game. Sometimes you go into this game uh, not with a very strong hand and you wind up winning and vice versa. So it's got a lot of player action, it's a lot of fun, it causes you to think a little bit because you have to throw away that one card, uh, a little bit of luck you know, on that, on that throw away card, and hope you guys uh, enjoy this game. Take it to your next poker party, play it with your friends, see how they like it, and if you guys like it, put it in your poker game arsenal and have fun playing it. And I thank you guys for watching.